All right, guys. Hey, it's Janet and Greg with our series, Flicks with the Hicks. Whoa! Time for popcorn. No. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're doing the worst movie of the week and the best movie of the week. And I'm going to tell you about the worst movie for the week. And it's, I think, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I didn't like it. It's uh, very, very uh, notable. It's got uh, Academy Awards. It's got two of those. Uh, the music, like the song Moon River. Moon River. That, that song came out of it. Had some great actors and actresses. And it's got Audrey Hepburn, George Papard, Mickey Rooney. Um, and it was made in 1961. And Truman Capote wrote the story. It wasn't a real novel. And it wasn't a short story. They call it a novella. Like in between a book and a short story. But he wrote it. You know, he wrote a book about... Or like a novella. Okay? But... I really didn't like it. Um, she plays an escort type thing that, it, and you know, she adores Tiffany's and she dresses like all, like she's ritzy ritzy, but she really isn't. And she's um, using guys like crazy. All she cares about is money, you know. Um, she's an escort. She's an escort. She met, meets a guy that's a writer that's doing a gigolo type thing. He's an escort. Yeah. <laughs> about, about two escorts. Yeah. But uh, I, I really didn't like it. It, it was drawn out. Um, Mickey Rooney plays her, um, an oriental landlord that's totally stupid the way they dressed him up. Mm -hmm. But I mean... I guess he's supposed to, it's supposed to be a romantic comedy. It's supposed to be funny, but I didn't, really didn't laugh at it at all. I, so. this was the first time I had seen it and I expected more from it. Mm -hmm. You hear, you know, the song Moon River and, yeah. and all the awards that it won and how, you know, so everybody's so infatuated with Audrey Hepburn and um, I expected it to, to be much more than it was. Yeah. And Breakfast at Tiffany's to me didn't make sense as a title. But well, it kind of starts off her with a brown bag of her breath breakfast walk yeah. in front of Tiffany's. Yeah. You know, and they go back to Tiffany's, you know, but uh, um saying <laughs> that though. Mhm. Mm I enjoyed the film. Um I did. I I couldn't I had a hard time different, differentiating whether it was a drama or a comedy. So it's kind of a dramedy. <laughs> um, dramedy. <laughs> but I did find certain scenes, like the party scenes and stuff, in, in uh, um, her house, uh, her, uh, her apartment. Mm -hmm. um, I found some of those scenes very interesting. Just the characters that were there yeah. and, and stuff. But, and how snooty everybody was. Yeah, but as an overall how, you know, it's a great film. I don't think it was a great film. I think it was a good film. Um, I, I didn't even think it was good. Really. What would you give I, that rascal? Uh, zero to a hundred. Uh, I, like, I like the song Moon River. Um, I don't know. If it had... If it was more realistic, maybe... Mm -hmm. would have been better but it wasn't i mean it doesn't really show reality it's just a story mm -hmm. okay all right i give it i'll give it a 30 i don't want to watch it again mm. you know it's supposed to be all that but i i was disappointed i would give it i'd give it a 74 somewhere around there Oh, really? I want to say 75, but I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty lofty number for that movie. I'd give it a 74. Yeah? Okay. It was interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. um, if it was, you know, if it was on TV in somebody's home when we walked in, and we were all sitting in the living room, I could watch it again. 
but I wouldn't mm -hmm. go out of my way to see it again. No, I'd go ahead and go clean after dinner, you know, with a bunch of company. I'd be in the kitchen doing the dishes. I wouldn't mm -hmm. even care to watch it again. And it's got Oscars and all that, you know, I'm mm -hmm. like, so all back right. then, maybe, yeah. Back, back then, it would have been more of a big production, but nowadays. All right. So, okay. Your movie. Okay, so my movie of the week, I got to pick the best movie of the week, was Less Miserables. I think that's how you say it. I still don't know how to say that movie. It was, it's a musical based on the Broadway musical, uh, famous Broadway musical. Mm -hmm. It stars Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe and Anne Hathaway. It won three Academy Awards. It was, they spent $61 million dollars on production for the movie Whoa. it made 441 million dollars oh my so god it was, it was a blockbuster oh um, my god like i got goosebumps yeah, i didn't think i was gonna like it because of it being a like musical musical yeah there's very few mu musicals i like mm -hmm. um but even with russell crowe singing it wasn't bad it was, it was good. It was a good movie. The, all the songs are like stories. Yeah, and it's it's based in the 1800s in France. And it has such a weaving um, storyline to it that it would just be... I, I could sit here for 35 minutes and just tell you what it's about. Mm -hmm. So other than, other than doing that, um, what I can say is that Hugh Jackman basically plays a criminal to begin the movie who then becomes, um, he ends up straightening his life out, becoming the mayor of a town. Uh, factory he owns a owner, factory owner. and Trying to help the people. And inside the factory, there was a girl played by Anne Hathaway who was uh, working hard and was fired because her co-workers turned against her. Um, and all she wanted to do was make enough money to support her child. Well, Little girl. she ended up on the streets and she ended up uh, selling her hair, selling her teeth. At, and then in total desperation, she became a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And um, Hugh Jackman uh, came across her again, the owner of the factory and the mayor. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of, he wanted to help her. Mm -hmm. So the whole movie kind of revolves around that situation and then him trying to do what he could for her daughter. And this entire time, Russell Crowe uh, was a, I guess he'd be a prison guard at the start, but he ends up uh, becoming a, um, he's in the military and so he's like a, what would you call Armed him? Armed guard or yeah, something. Like, a, like an MP kind of a detective. Yeah, And detective. he's tracking down Hugh Jackman through the entire movie. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to put Hugh Jackman away in prison again. Yeah. Yeah, and he was in prison, released from prison. And then he was criminal and supposedly. And he's a, really a good guy. But, you know, he's being chased all through his life. Yeah. But... The movie itself is really involved. Uh, the music goes really well with the movie. Um, a great film. I, I wish I could tell you the characters' names, but it's based on a, a French novel, I guess, or a French story. And nothing against the French. You guys have some bizarre names. And I couldn't pronounce half of them. Uh, I'd recognize them when they would talk back and forth. Um, but that's a difficult movie to keep up with for me for that reason. Just the I enjoyed stuff, it. So. I, I, oh, I thought I it was mean, wonderful. I'm not into musicals that much. I mean, I, I mean, I know high school and choir, we did musical stuff and all that. But this, the, the singing, the stories and... And what's going on? And I thought it was awesome. As in the wardrobe and the settings, it's just neat for that time period. And mm -hmm. you know the conflicts and the things you know people go through and how miserable people could be living. And there's the title right there. Yeah. And in this film, Anne Hathaway won Best Supporting Actress. 
won the Academy Award. The, the film itself won three Academy Awards. Uh, but a wonderful film, honestly. I, I, I was, really, really enjoyed yeah. it. I thought the cinematography was incredible. The um, the the clothes that they wore um, also was uh -huh. the costume Wardrobe. design. Yeah, cost, yeah. Wardrobe. Um, and... and the way the with the way the movie was shot, it was dark, a dark and dreary time with a lot of people suffering. Mm -hmm. But uh, really good film. I would give it. Hmm. Hmm. I'd give it an eighty-three. Really? Yeah. You, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a musical. So? And I don't really care for musicals, but I really did like this one. I but liked it, it. Yeah. I liked it. I'll give it, um, I'll give it a 90. Because I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't you know? mind seeing it again. Yeah. Um, in fact, I want to keep that one. Okay. Because it's good. And that would be neat to share with people. You know, too. That, Show them the dark and dreary times. But, I mean, being a musical, you know. Yeah. Which doesn't bother me so much, but it's not like Showboat where everybody's dancing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you yeah. know? You know? So, yeah. it's 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 dramatic. Yes. And it's not yes. an opera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank goodness. It's yeah. not It's not like, woo -woo 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 -woo, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> But, Do that again? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. <laughs> and, you know, so and you can understand what they're saying when they're singing. So different type. You know, I liked it a lot. You yeah. guys, it was a good film. You guys, you might check it out. I mean, you know, he you see the title and go, ah, don't even. You just walk right by it, or you know, just blow by it without even considering it. This might be a good consideration, to, you know, to oh, watch. I'd, I'd definitely watch it again. Good film. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us with our week review of movies. Um, I don't know. Sit down and relax. Watch a movie. Strange RV tours will take you places. With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Javi Tours is on the air.